Donald Trump's family not responding well in general to him being found guilty of more than 30 felonies. But the responses are not the same across the family. And there are some notable silences. Let's start with those who will never ever take the opportunity to be silent, like Don Jr. Who says, such BS. And then guilty on all counts, the Democrats have succeeded in their years long attempt to turn America to a third world asshole. November 5th is our last chance to save it. Sentencing is four days before the GOP convention. They're not even trying to hide the election interference. It is four days before the, the, the RNC, and I don't like that. I think it should be earlier so that the, the Republicans have more time to potentially choose a different candidate. I, I do want you to bear in mind that Todd Blanch requested that time, mid to late. He wanted it potentially to be after the RNC. So again, Don Jr. leaving out that this was the official position of the Trump legal team. So he's angry, obviously, and he's swearing. He tweeted literally dozens of times. Um, you have to be on a powerful stimulant to have the energy to engage with social media that much. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. Eric Trump says uh, May 30th might be remembered as the day Donald J. Trump won the 2024 presidential election, which sounds like the sort of joke that a lib would write on Twitter. <laughs> he means it though, he means it. Um, he's doing his best. Now, none of those reactions matter to Donald Trump. He doesn't care about Don Jr. or Eric, he does care about Ivanka. And she posted on Snapchat this image of her and Trump, and it says, I love you, dad. And that's sweet. It's an image of her as a kid. Uh, and I like that it's a still image. It's not a video and there's no audio. So there's no opportunity for Donald Trump to say something about how someday he's gonna wanna sleep with her. And I love, I love this format. Um, but notably, and before we discuss, no reaction from Melania who potentially could have her husband go to jail for four years. Now she's obviously not obligated, maybe she's grieving or something. She's not obligated to write anything, but she didn't. Much of the family did, but not her. What do you make of this, Brett? She really doesn't care, does he? <laughs> <laughs> like Melania doesn't care, we saw her slap his hand away a bunch. It's gotta mm. be so weird. Like Ivanka has very actively avoided participating in Trump's reelection campaign. Yes. So for, and I'm sure it's gotta anger Donald Trump quite a bit because he has people like Eric go up and be like, we're right, we're white, we're <laughs> taking a big bite. Like he's, he's disgusting <laughs> and gross and an idiot. Like so <laughs> pathetically actively an idiot. And um, the glistening weird coke no smoke skin of Don Jr is wildly embarrassing on all fronts as well. What is he gonna have Guilfoyle go out there and yell, we'll never go hungry again. Like the people <laughs> who are defend, at least he got a I love you dad from uh, Ivanka. Huh? Is that a Lion King reference? <laughs> uh, I don't anyway. remember what that's from, but I don't know which mm. the best is yet to come. Yes. <laughs> Where's the bee? Where? I don't remember what she said, but it was good. It was powerful, powerful. Anyway, um, yeah, look, they're gonna process it. We have to remember they are against all evidence, still humans, and they appear to have affection for their father. I don't understand how that could be, but they it. appear to. And so this is a hard day for them. Uh, I have a, a spectrum of how much I care about them potentially having a hard day. And uh, Eric uh, and Don Jr. Are, are at one end. Um, but like, think about like Barron. You know, he doesn't seem to have been as mistreated by Donald Trump. Uh, we don't know how many minutes he's actually spent with Donald Trump during his life. But this has got to be a rough day for him, and we should bear that in mind. Obviously, a lot of people are going to delight in the verdict, and I understand why Trump is terrible. He's a plague on the nation. It is still rough for some of the people in his family. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?